And the question we're all asking investors today is, is do you see a, a specific competitive advantage for Finland and for the region around it? I, I would have to say yes I do because A, you've got high technical skills and uh, what maybe many people would be surprised about is the level of creativity. And I think what, what you're ab absolutely ab seeing now is because of this digital platform, that creativity is able to go everywhere in the world. I think, I mean, I think definitely Finland, Finland has been over the past couple of years gaining tremendous momentum in the really early stage because of, of some pretty generous Tekas uh, grants. And I think that is a unique situation for, for, uh, for most of, the, uh, of, of Europe at least. I think that coupled with, you know, Startup Sauna, which is, which is really, you know, a lot of grassroots movement around, and especially in the student sphere, which I think is, is the point to, to be focusing on people. Uh, and, then, and then I think the, the, the last thing is, you know, which is, which is definitely Helsinki's um, big advantage compared to the rest of the Nordics, but also w which, which does go, go there is, is really the access to, uh, to the Baltics, uh, where we're seeing a lot of exciting startups coming out uh, these years. And, and Helsinki is definitely where they're looking um, um, if, they, if, they, if they look somewhere in, in, in the Nordics, right? They're not looking to Stockholm, they're not looking to Copenhagen, they're looking to Helsinki or they're looking to London or they're looking to Silicon Valley. Yeah, I think first it's the dark nights in the winter, so we work hard, and it's uh, sunlight in the summer. But uh, most seriously, I think it's uh, somehow the center of the gravity is moving to the Nordic, and we see more and more actually entrepreneurs who have made it once are coming back here and encouraging their sort of the younger people to get into into the uh, into the startup. So it's somehow this. Uh, positive uh, virtual, virtual circle that is, we are seeing happening here now. I think first of all, of course, the, when we are in Finland, you cannot uh, sort of to talk about uh, startups without talking about Rovio, which is not anymore startup. It was started with the gaming, but it has now sort of the, expanded itself to entertainment. But I think that is, of course, an interesting gaming. We see a lot of uh, innovation there. But I would actually say that uh, we are also seeing more and more that the digitalization is disrupting traditional businesses, for example, in media and other industries, and that's sort of the uh, ripe for innovation and for new startups. Where do you think the most interesting startups, uh, in what industries are they here? I, I mean, I guess that the very obvious one is, is around gaming. Uh, you know, you have two pretty uh, solid super weights right there. Uh, but I think that, that, that those, uh, those companies are, you know, have grown out of uh, some established studios. Uh, or not established studios, but, but you know, I mean, you know, Ilka obviously coming from Digital Chocolate, people have been here for, uh, for, for several years uh, doing great games, and now they're going out, venturing out on their own, they're, you know, embracing a new opportunity around the tablet or around the, the, uh, the mobile phone, and uh, while the rest of Europe have been, you know, doing um, AAA productions and then only now starting to discover themselves as, as indie uh, developers. I've seen a lot of interesting kind of medical and high-tech devices uh, where there's a strong software component. Um, now also with contract manufacturing around the world you can actually be a high-quality producer of physical goods without having to build factories and things like that. So I think all of that plays to the to the strength, you know, the kind of high execution or get it done attitude that happens up here. At the end of the day, this is one of the hottest places for talent right now, Helsinki is one of the hottest places for talent for mobile games in general. We just opened an office here for that reason, uh, and I'm really interested to see what that talent thinks is the next big thing tomorrow. So I'm, just, I'm sort of orienting myself to make sure that, that we, are, uh, we are part of this community and that we are, uh, we are contributing wherever possible and, and helping share our learnings, but also learning as much as we can from everyone else.